Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Scorpio for the month of February 2022. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. Also, although I'm reading for February, you could be feeling these energies whenever you view this video. Um, whether that be February, March, April, May, whenever you're drawn to the video is when you were meant to hear its message. Okay. I feel like you're, that, well, first of all, it's your energy or it's somebody else's. So um, it's possible that either you or they are trying to prevent a truth from coming out. They're maybe assessing uh, the possibility uh, of that coming out possibly and, uh, and or uh, assessing, okay, <laughs> they were trying to keep it they were trying to prevent something from coming out and had to do with a tower moment. But it's eating at them because I have them here in a confessional. I feel like they they could be, it's like a, something that really eats at them, you know, and they talk to God about it, um, but they don't talk to the world about it. They don't talk to anybody. They talk when they're alone about it whatever it is that's burdening them and they uh, are assessing the possibility of well what if i tell them you know and they are probably building a defense there's something about this tower and it looks like it was a surprise attack that came in here like uh, like if this is happening to you you were not expecting it mm -hmm. okay and so we have them here four of cups what are they doing here they're looking back at what didn't work they're yearning to have that person back in their life again. Look at the cup, how bro it's broken, chipped, yet they still hold it, they still want it. Maybe in their mind, um, let me just see here. Maybe in their mind, oh my God, there's a lot of emotion here. Um, they're trying to piece things back together. Um, there's broken branches here. Their eyes are closed and they're thinking, they're wishing, they are yearning, they're remembering. Yeah. Um, I think I'll, I'll go here next. Vanity Fair. Um, a relationship maybe that went stale. Um, maybe in the past, maybe you were just coexisting or, um, or you're, this is current and you're lonely. Um, you feel empty. You don't have to be in a relationship, but maybe you want to be. Maybe you desire someone or desire to be in a relationship and you have a specific person in mind, of course. It's the one you left behind you. But, and I mean, maybe there's many different scenarios that can come off of this card maybe uh, they are already in a relationship, already taken it, and um, maybe you might be thinking it's too late. You see, I have um, this Queen of Cups. 
and she still has feelings for whomever this is. And it is very possible that there are three people involved here. And if not, then this is about somebody who's feeling lonely and empty without this person and um, is reflecting on a, something that didn't move forward. There was a piece of the puzzle that was missing for them. But either they have found it or they will. And maybe they are wanting to reunite with this person. So like I said, there are different scenarios that can come off of this. There's many of you watching. So I try to um, to give you the different um, the different things that I'm seeing here, the different possibilities. Somebody made an emotional decision, I feel. Or is about to. You know, I mean, this is a, a deep attraction, the Two of Cups um, here, possible soulmate. Um, but this is somebody who has very deep feelings for you. And I, I feel, hmm, we have the Emperor here and we have him twice, so... Um, he could be, like he is about order and structure and rules. So this could be about rules because I also have the Hierophant here, but he's in reverse. This could be about um, somebody rebelling with the Hierophant reverse, rebelling against something... It could be um, it could be about how they managed something or how they're handling or controlling something or emo an emotional decision to take control of a situation to take uh, to take a specific direction, one of healing. This person uh, wants to talk with that page because uh, it is through a communication that they will try to restore the order. Um, they've thought about what they're going to say and they've even practiced it because I feel like they did something and have kept it hidden and would like uh, or are thinking of confessing because it's eating away at them. It's, it's, it's like they can't carry the burden anymore. This is about wiping the slate clean, laying it all out on the table and then Let's see if we can bring it back to life. Let's see if there's still uh, life here. This is a card of looking for signs. So maybe this person is looking for signs or praying to God and, or praying to the universe, if, to whomever they're praying for signs possibly because they're looking really close at the details of the black mass. And, and that is uh, to, to turn something around, to bring it back to life, something that died. They're fantasizing about, uh, about you. And, and it's like they can be at doing something you know, working, whatever, uh, but their mind isn't there. Their mind is on you and on this situation and how to fix it. Now, they're thinking about this conversation that they want to have, this communication that they want to make. There's a lot of regret. And again, we have the star. So it's back here and it's over here also. So 
they did something that caused a lot of damage. They tried to hide the truth of it. And, um, oh my God, I, I can almost hear them talking to, to God. Um, looking for a sign or asking for a sign, I feel is, is what, you know, what do I do? What's the next best move? What, what should I, what should I do, God? Show me, show me the way, show me a sign. And, and lo and behold, look what we have. We have a sign. We have the signs. Pay attention to the signs. So you see, they came out of the Three of Swords, and the Three of Swords is um, a culmination of uh, of meetings that end badly, right? And it lands them where in the Four of Swords. We have that too. So, but the Three of Swords are hanging on the wall, and they're trying to figure out how to heal it. Here we are praying again, the praying hands here. You see, he has, look at the pouch he's got tied here. He has something to share. He's got something locked in there that he needs to share, that he needs to get off his chest. He's carrying a burden, guilt, um, and it needs to be acknowledged to the outside world. He cannot uh, hold on to this anymore. This is um, the way. The way through this energy here is by confession, or by speaking one's truth, or by admitting to a truth. Pride. Uh, may have kept this person in uh, uh, in denial. But I feel like they are ready. Shipwrecked. Look at that. It could, they could... It, It's like um, something, they felt like uh, they could go no further. They felt like the ship, you know, was sinking. They made an impulsive uh, decision. Something, something, uh, Something got this person upset, and that's all they could see was that. And this can also, once again, be a card of ego. And um, and now they look back at the damage, and maybe they're looking back at the at the shipwreck. It's a, it, it's to me, it's like the same. It's, it's continuing what happened from the five to the six. Maybe they feel like they destroyed any chance to move it forward with something they did. And now, here we have it. Looking back at what they lost. in that Eight of Cups. Deeply feeling this connection. Um, temptation to reach out and offer their cup again. Uh, to communicate. They have this new idea, you see. And the idea and they're very tempted to move forward with it to get out of their situation. So they've got some, 
new idea, and and it it has to do with some uh, information, something very important that they've discovered, and they're taking a look at it. You can see um, that they're very serious about it. They may have been through that book, looking over things, and discovered something that they didn't see before. And this maybe brings them new hope. And, you know, uh, maybe they were guided Maybe that was the sign that they were praying for, you know? And so they've seen something and they've found a way. Or at least this is what they're looking at. They haven't made the move yet, but they will. They're still in the hangman mode, but yeah, you see, they are open to, to talking about this. Oh yeah, for sure. Reaching for the wand, the ace of uh, cups. This person loves you deeply. Look at that. The hanged man. Pause, reflect. Um, I feel that there has been understanding. I feel that they, there's a new offer coming. Um, this person has very intense feelings, uh, very deep feelings of love for you. And this person wants to talk. They're putting their sword down. They're opening up to talk. Um, and not just words, but they're opening up to emotion because I feel like they were closed off in the past the emotions were closed off here or their heart was closed off because they were too focused on you know what didn't work or what wasn't working maybe when things got tough maybe they ran maybe when things got tough they became afraid and ran. Somebody left when things got tough. It's there. And there's others here. So maybe uh, they were listening to other people, possibly. But it's all changing. They have asked for a sign and they have received it or will be. This Ace of Cups represents the start of a new relationship or the deepening of one of reconciliations and um, somebody opening up the conversation a new way of seeing something, a new way of thinking. Your final message is this card of commitment. The door is open right now for a commitment at this time or for the deepening of one. A true commitment, though, is a responsibility of the heart, the mind, the body, and soul. And, of course, now is the time to make one. Partnerships formed at this time and in this energy can be harmonious and powerful. This card can also indicate the natural evolution of a relationship from its inception to marriage. There's a promise of fulfillment in some form when this card appears. However, it says that you must be conscious of what you're committing to. Also, others are much more willing to enter into partnerships with you at this time or another actually <laughs> so um i thank you for watching
for liking and for sharing my videos and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.